This is part eight of the ZBrush video tutorial series, Building the War Sloth. Uh, in this video tutorial, we're gonna look at adding armor. Uh, and I'm gonna do this again by retopologizing parts of the model. Uh, in this case, I wanna actually build the sort of tail armor piece. Uh, and we're gonna create the sort of metallic piece for that. I'm gonna switch to a Z-sphere. Same thing I did when I initially retopologized the model. I'll again open up my adaptive skin subpalette, my rigging subpalette, select my mesh, my topology, I'll turn on edit topology, and this will allow me to start to create new forms on top of this model. Uh, I'm going to turn on my symmetry, and same as I did when I initially retopologized the form, uh, I'm going to continue to create a series of click, click, click little dots which represent vertices. Uh, and then continue these to make quads. As I create each quad, I make sure I click in a free space off of the model. Uh, and I can always grab my move tool uh, and start to move some of these vertices around. I also want to make sure that I'm creating a little bit of a um, division here. I'm kind of creating a Y-shaped piece of armor to go around these scales for the back, these little plates, which will eventually be defined more. I also want to make sure, and you see I'm creating slightly smaller faces ringing around this piece of armor at the moment. This is going to be essentially an edge loop around the form, and it's going to help preserve any detail as I sculpt if I want to add a bevel or anything like that, which you'll see me do in a bit. So I'm clicking on a vertice, creating a new vertice, connecting it to an already existing vertice, and then clicking off the model. As I continue to work around the form, uh, again, choosing the same thing, it's a click to create a new vertice, click to connect, and then click off. I can finalize this up. Now if I hit A, or go to Adaptive Skin Preview, you'll notice it makes a very thin piece. But if I go to topology and turn up the skin thickness, notice how this actual thickness as if this is extruded outwards. And if I smooth this out, you'll notice how much more resolution I actually have here. This is the piece I want. So I will hit actually make adaptive skin, and you'll see if I go to the tool palette, I now have a nice little piece of armor, which I can append by going to subtool, append, and appending it into my already existing creature.